What's up, sixth grade students? Today, I'm gonna play Legends of Learning. I'm gonna try the same assignment you guys were doing this week. I forget what it's called, but you guys seem to love it. So it's time for Mr. J Plays. Here we go. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I oh, did a little matter. bit of this before I assigned her. So, and robot ladies telling me matters solid. are things that have mass, Liquid. volume, gas. solids, solids liquids, gas, and plasma. Her voice. Physical properties. Physical properties can physical properties can be observed with your senses. You can measure them with tools, weighing scale, beaker, thermometer. Alright, so that's familiar. Really, these are your five senses. We use these to make observations. Observations are what you notice. Example. Physical properties size. are based on volume. Examples freezing of measuring point. size, how much space something takes up, volume, freezing point when a liquid turns into a solid, melting point when that solid turns back into a liquid, and whether something's magnetic. These are examples of physical properties. Chemical properties. Chemical properties can only be observed once matter undergoes a change. The resulting matter becomes completely different. All right, so chemical properties is when a change happens and something new comes out of it, such as burning wood <coughs> turns into other things. All right, let's see what we got here. Can we play the game? Oh, more examples. Flammability. So Oxidation. when you burn something, flammability turns wood with fire into ash and smoke. Take iron and you add oxygen, we call it oxidation, and it creates rust. Alright, game time. Space. Size is a property of matter that determines how big or small something is. One such measurement is area, obtained by multiplying width and height. Alright, so we're gonna have to pay attention to the size of these objects to help Chin Chin get to the exit and pay attention to the area, which is length times height. Let's do this. Drag the material right, drag to the world. Material to the world. Got it. A little. Press this when you're ready. So I can move it and I can expand it. I want to make it all the way. Uh, it's probably too high. You can't jump that high. Let's go. Let's go like that. That way you can move down here and jump up. Let's give it a try. Go Chin Chin. Press go this Chin Chin. Over. Jump. Jump. All right. See, this reminds me of a game I used to play when I was younger called uh, Lemmings. Level two. Drag anywhere on the screen to move the view. Okay, so I can move, move the view. Oh, there's the house. There's Chin Chin. Okay, so I have wood and I have cork. Cork is pretty soft. Wood is stronger. Cork is a bark of wood. Alright, so I can use 12 squares of wood, 8 squares of cork. So let's throw the cork. Let's go 8 across. That is almost there. Wood I'm gonna put right here, and I can have 12. So if I go two, I can go up six two times. That's two times four. Bottom of the bottom. We go three times four. There you go. That's 12. I'm gonna move the cork over one. It's probably gonna jump and miss that gap. Let's find out. Go chin chin go. Don't fall right there. Oh, good jump. Good jump. Good jump. I'm making up there. No. Chin Chin, no! No, where are you going? Now, I have learned that if you wait, sometimes you'll make it the second time. But I'm gonna go ahead and restart this one. Press right, confirm to reset the level. Let's the fork at the bottom again. I'm okay with that. Now, he jumped pretty far. I wonder if I can go like that. That's why I'm not. I'm just gonna go with the same choice. Alright, the wood, 4x3, was too tall. Let's go four this way and three up. Let's try it that way. All right, go Chin Chin, go. Jump on the court, jump on the wood, get to your home. Go home, Chin Chin, go, go, go. There you go, make it, make it, make it, make it. Booyah. All right, next level, let's do this. Heavy duty. Ooh. Weight determines how heavy or light an object is relative to gravity. You can compare and determine a solid matter's weight by using a balance scale. All right. So it looks like we have a scale. I'm going to hypothesize that if I put a weight on one, it's gonna go down and the other goes up. So we have wood, iron, and concrete. Let's put the iron on this side. Uh, we can have area four, that's two by two. All right, so if I put that there, 
that's probably gonna go down. Now, wood is lighter, so I'm gonna put the wood on this side. And I'm thinking that the iron is gonna move this balance down. Chin Chin can jump on it, jump on here. The wood's lighter, so it should be able to jump on the wood and make it to the top. Let's find out. Go Chin Chin, go Chin Chin. Go Chin Chin. Go. Go, yes! It worked, nice, I didn't even use the concrete. All right, all right, let's go. Oh no, it looks like wind. It's probably gonna move things up. So I got wood, cork, and concrete. Uh, cork is kind of light. It's what we use on bulletin boards where we put pins in. So the cork's probably gonna float. Maybe if I put the cork down here, Keep it from floating, put something heavy on it. I got wood and concrete. Concrete is probably heavy enough to keep it down. Uh, we'll do that. So it'll jump down here, jump up here, go up there. I don't know if that's enough room. And then from here, he's got to jump over there. All right, let's try it. I'm not going to use them all. Let's see what happens. Go, Chin Chin, go. Whoa, what? Okay, that didn't work. No, what are you doing? No, no, no. Oh, he made it. And he's stuck. Press no. this for hints. Whoa. All right. Okay. He's not going to make it, but that's just fun to see what happens. Press confirm right, to restart, restart the this level. level. Press this for hints. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put concrete down here. Stretch it out as far as I can. Right there. And then I'm going to put the wood right here. And I have an idea. This might be enough. Let's see if this is enough. All right, Chin Chin, ready? Go, Chin Chin. The concrete, can't mess with the concrete. Jump up there, can you make it up? Mm. No! Chin Chin, no. Try it again. Press confirm All right, to reset let's the level. See. Press this for him. You know what? Chin Chin gets there pretty quick. What if I put the wood right here? Maybe it will float up at a slow enough speed that Chin Chin can jump on it, stay on it as it floats up. And then I'll put concrete over here to block this fan. There, let's try this. All right, Chin Chin, ready, go. There's the wood. Oh, he made it! He made it! I didn't even, uh, and the concrete blocked the fan, and he made it nice. I thought he was gonna fall down here and then make it, but hey, whatever works, works. Okay, buoyancy. Buoyancy is the ability of an object to float in fluid or gas. The upward force exerted by the fluid allows the object to float. Okay, so buoyancy is using density and other properties to allow something to float. So we have water right here, water right here, here's this house. Wood and cork both float, concrete does not. So let's put um, the wood and the cork in the water. You know what? I'm gonna put the wood on this side. Because wood will float. Cork is lighter. Here, I get six of it, so I go two by three, three by two. Maybe that'll float enough. All right, let's try that. I don't need concrete, concrete doesn't float. All right, jump on there, jump over here, jump over here, and make it up. Go, chin chin. Yeah, booyah. All right, got it, got it. Okay, oh, another one. All right, so we got. Iron, rubber, and cork. Um, rubber depends. I bet if I put the rubber really big like this, it'll sink. But if I have it long, like stretched out, kind of like you know, bolts are stretched out. I wonder if that matters. Let's just find out what happens. Uh, maybe you'll bounce on that and bounce up. I'm, I'm afraid that's gonna sink. So I can stretch it out. I kind of want it big enough that he can make it up. We'll just try that. And then I'm going to put the cork over here. I'm going to make it as big as I can. So they can jump on the cork. Alright, we'll give this a try. Let's see what happens. I'm 
not that confident about this. Oh, oh, that worked. Now will this work? Is that too light? Oh. Um, no, stop changing. Press confirm to reset the level. Uh, I wonder if I put iron right here. If I do iron, I make it big enough. It's like a platform. Yeah, let's do that. Now we'll do the cork over here. Cork will float. And we'll do the rubber over here again. All right, so we should be able to jump on that, get up here, land on the iron, which is fine because it's resting on the bottom. And then you can jump on the cork. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh. Ooh, that was lucky. Now if you land, oh, you land on the cork. I didn't even need the iron there, but the iron kept the cork from like bouncing around and moving, so that's not too bad. All right, what's next? Let's go. What's next? Highly flammable. Flammability, or combustibility, is a chemical reaction that causes a matter to ignite in flames. An example of a flammable matter is wood. Alright, let's do it. So there's a fire somewhere? I don't see fire. Oh, that's lava or something. So we don't want wood there, because wood will burn. So a cork. I mean, that is fire, I think. So the iron right here? Okay. Wood right here. Man, that makes me nervous. Wood's flammable. Cork. Right here, just in case. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Let's see what happens. That's on fire. That's on fire. That's hot. Press confirm to reset the level. Press okay, this let's for do. Hands. We put the iron here, and we put some cork on top of it. Maybe the cork will burn as fast. I'm gonna put the wood up here. So that way it doesn't burn quickly, so it's gotta fall. You know what? Move that up here. Let's see what happens. No! Alright, so the iron did save the cork. Alright, let's reset this. Press confirm to reset the level. Okay, Press so I'm gonna put the iron here again. I'm gonna put the cork right here. Because that'll buy time. No, let's put the iron over here and the cork on that. Then we'll do the wood right here because the wood takes longer to burn. So maybe that'll give us enough time. We can move it up one so it falls, which takes some time. All right, that gives Chin Chin time to jump while the wood's falling. The wood lands. We'll have a couple seconds before it burns because it's combustible. Let's find out. Fall. Come on, Chin Chin. No. All right. to reset the level. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. Uh, you know, I'm about to go to the arcade machine back there and start doing that stuff instead. This is sad, 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 sad. All right, Jin Jin, come on now. There's the wood, the corn, the corn. The corn takes longer to burn. Hit that and jump. Holy moly. My time's almost over, and I just finally beat this level. That was rough. Conductive. Conductivity is a property of matter that determines the ease of flow for electricity, heat, or sound. Metal is a great conduction for electricity. Man, I struggle with fire, now I gotta deal with electricity. Alright, let's go, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, alright. So we have this down here, we have electric current right there. So, oh, I think... 
we connect the electric current to turn the fans on. All right, aluminum is a metal, it conducts electricity, so can we get that? How far can I go with that? Is that enough? Now, if we do that, we should be able to get down here. The fan will carry me over, but I have to get on top of that. So rubber does not conduct electricity. So maybe if I go there. Wait, oh, rubber's got four. Aluminum has six, and then wood has four. All right, let's see what happens. There we go. Conducted electricity. Don't land on that. Don't land on that. Get lucky. I got lucky. Ooh, because if you were to land on the aluminum, it would have conducted electricity and it would zap the chinchin. I got lucky. I got lucky. I deserved some luck after that one. With enough fuel and oxygen, all right, let's finish the chamber. This up. The sheer amount of combustion can create enough force to lift a heavy object into outer space. All right, outer space, here we go. Now this is the one all Connect the students the said they had trouble with. Socket. So let's see what happens. Connect the oxidizer tank to a pump socket. Connect the combustion chamber to the pump tubes. Okay, fuel tank to the pump socket. Oxidizer tank to the pump socket. Combustion chamber. All right, so we're gonna go fuel tank. Oxidizer tank. And, oh wait, that's combustion chamber. All I gotta do is pay attention to the shapes and it matches. What? It won't go there? No. It won't go there. Alright, now what do I do? Okay, so let's try it. Chin Chin's gonna go in space, hopefully. Launch! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Five, four, three, two, one! Chin Chin go! Did I do it right? I did it! I did it! Ooh, I'm getting a lot of points. I'm getting a lot of points. And a lot more points. I got more points. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to get a gift. I think it was pretty good. The answer. Oh wait, I can do two irons? Wait, what? Press if I would have known that. Alright. Alright, so I can do iron here for two. See, that changes the game. That just changes the game. Right there. Two there. And then I can do iron again over here. Are you serious? I did not know that. All right, so I'm gonna do cork right here. And I'm gonna do wood over here. And do I have enough time? All right, Chin Chin, come on. I feel sad for not getting this level right. Can you make it on the wood in time? Hit that wood, no, it's too late. Press confirm to reset the right. level. Okay. So iron I'm gonna put right here. This honestly is taking me forever. This is crazy. This is crazy. Do some cork right here. Did I do wooden cork on the wrong sides last time? I think I did. I think that's what it was. Alright. This should do. This should do it. If not, I'm just gonna give up. No, I'd never give up. Because I'm going to get it this time. No! No! So wait.